Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. I have six mass-produced floral cards today using Altino Hello Gorgeous Stamp Set and Coordinating Die Set. I made these cards to send to family and friends that I haven't seen in a long time. So these cards are good uh, to send nowadays because of all the things that's happening the pandemic and I think it's good to send cards to uh, uh, your loved ones. I'm also going to use DCWB white emboss stock paper pad and uh, here I'm detaching the papers that I'm going to use and I really like this paper because it has the emboss uh, patterns so you don't have to uh, emboss and this one will um, save some time I will be making mini slimline cards today so I'm cutting my papers to 3 and 1 fourth inches I will do some ink blending on my backgrounds using Distress Oxide inks and the colors are Peacock Feathers, Pink Raspberry, Mauve Lawn crack pistachio, mustard seed, and wild honey. I'm going to use the ink dabber because uh, my ink pads are drying. So if I use the blending brush, I'm not going to get um, a, uh, a lot of color from the ink pad. So I think I need to invest on uh, re-inker soon. <laughs> so... Here, I'm just uh, ink blending some color in the middle of uh, the, the paper. I just want a little bit of color in the middle. So my flower image uh, have background color. Here I have my floral image and I'm going to mount that on the lid of my Misty and I'm using 140 pound Canson XL watercolor paper. I inked that up with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'm using the 140 pound uh, watercolor paper Canson XL because I have the coordinating die for it. So um, I'm not going to fussy cut and it's... Um, I like to use th thicker watercolor paper if I have the dye, but if I don't, then I use the thinner, the 90 pound Stratmore watercolor paper. So it's easier for me to fussy cut. I will color my images very simple and I'm just brushing the color on parts of the flower with different colors. I call this coloring method a lazy coloring because I'm just dubbing the colors on the flower and then I'm going to blend a little bit of the color with my spectrum nor sparkle pen I will color the stamen with my sparkle pop orange pen and then I'm going to do the same thing with this flower image here. For my background, I activated my red gold paint um, with a little bit of water and I'm going to splatter the paint on my ink blended backgrounds. I have my empty box here so I can contain the uh, splatter paints inside the box so it doesn't go everywhere on my desk. And I'm using my paintbrush and 
flicking the paint on an acrylic block so I can control my splatters. I'm also going to splatter some gold paints on my colored images. And as you can see, I colored six of them. And then for the other uh, flower images, I also colored six of them. And these ones are going to be in the inside of the cards. Let's go ahead and adhere everything together. So I'm using a uh, strong double-sided tape and my art glitter glue. And I'm removing the release paper halfway so I can line up my uh, background on my mini slimline card base um, perfectly before I commit to adhering them. For my floral images, I'm going to adhere them with foam tape and I'm just going to place them or place it uh, in the middle of the card. For the sentiments, I'm going to stamp Sending Love and Hugs sentiment from the stamp set on dark blue shimmery cardstock with Versamark ink and emboss the sentiments with Wow Opaque Embossing Powder. For the inside of the cards, I have left over of the ink blended background, so I'll just add them on the lower part of the card, inside the card. And then I'm also going to adhere the flower image on top of the uh, strip of ink blended background uh, that we um, adhere, adhered earlier.
For the embellishment, I'm going to use this iridescent sequence that I have from my stash and I'm going to add uh, two on the upper right corner and three on the lower left corner of the card. And I'm using micro glue dots to adhere the sequence. And my beautiful cards are complete. I love how these cards turned out and I love the background and how I colored this uh, floral images. I hope you like today's cards and as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.